I'm Michelle Johnson and I'm an intern for Escambia County and today I'm here with Water Safety Chief Dave Greenwood and today he's going to highlight some important safety reminders for beach safety tips. So Dave Greenwood, do you want to take it away with me? Oh Michelle, it's nice to meet you nice to and meet you it's a wonderful to talk to you on this beautiful nice sunny day and it's sunny out here and also with the summertime sun comes the heat. One of the things that you must be aware of, your environment. Anytime you come to a beautiful place like Pensacola Beach, it's beautiful, but there are risks that you have to be aware of. We want people especially be aware of once we, as we get into the summer months. Typically, the surf starts to calm down. However, we do have, we do have a surf warning flag system, green, yellow, and red. Red is close to all swimming and waiting. Yellow, only strong swimmers should go in the Gulf of Mexico. Green flag doesn't mean it's safe, it means it's a low risk of, of rip currents that day. Very low risk will fly green flag, it's typically flat and calm. If you don't know how to swim, going in the Gulf of Mexico is not advisable. Uh, always we post it daily on our website when we go on duty at 9.30 to 10 o'clock. Lifeguards are updating uh, current surf information on our website, PensacolaBeachLifeguards.com and our Facebook page, Pensacola Beach Lifeguards on Facebook. You can like us on there and follow that. Uh, talking about the heat, some of the factors that we're dealing with out here and have been over the past few days when we had that record high heat temperatures, high, record high temperatures is People need to hydrate plenty. Plenty, uh, hydrate a lot when you're out here. Be prepared, be, it, be aware that walking on this hot beach sand requires a lot of effort and a lot of energy and in the higher temperature, uh, in the higher a temperature environment, it just takes that much more energy to walk on this. So just be aware of that, that it's not just drinking lots of water. Also, you have to walk on the sand too and mixing uh, alcohol is not advisable in this heat. Um, be aware that uh, always wear protective footwear when you're walking along the pavement or you get out of your car. If you do, oh, I'm just going to take a few short steps across the asphalt. That asphalt is much, much more hotter than the air temperature. So be aware of that. Wear foot protection, uh, sunscreen, plenty of sunscreen. And another thing, uh, heat generates weather, our weather out here. So and with, with the summertime, the heat of the summertime generates our thunderstorms. So thunderstorms are rule of thumb. When you see lightning, go indoors when thunder roars. Uh, wait till wait at least 30 minutes till the last flash of lightning. And uh, lightning is unpredictable. Best place to be is either inside a building or inside of a car, a parked car with the windows up. The, wind, the car's steel body acts as a Faraday cage. The glass windows act as an insulator. The car can get struck by lightning, but you typically are protected from that. Uh, from that lightning strike. So be aware of that. Lightning lightning has a mind of its own. Mm -hmm. It's uh, part of nature and it can strike anywhere uh, there's a, a thunderstorm present. Well, thank you for sharing these tips with us. We hope you all keep these in mind and have a safe and fun time at our beaches and stay cool, Escambia.